You go back, Jack, do it again. We'll turn them round and round. You go back, Jack, do it again. Now the problem, men, is called to the women. Your masculinity has become toxic to them. Right. And you're using your bodily differences <laughs> to, I say, control your women through your Torah or your false laws, right? See, they're the purdier, the bird of the species, right? <laughs> you're the uglier form, by the way, <laughs> my opinion. <laughs> You don't have nothing on the woman. <laughs> to me, right, right. Now, these men who would like the man for me, I don't know what's wrong with them. <laughs> but, okay, they're thinking like a woman in my mind. <laughs> but that's the point, too. Opposite, so. <laughs> normally, a <attract>, right? <laughs> right. She's got the big, the boobs, and you got the... Masculine chest to pick up the weight. Right, right. Right. <laughs> man. Right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You can climb up the tree easier than her and pick the fruit and throw it down to her. Right. <laughs> That's called working together, though. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> what you're doing, <laughs> Captain Gay Man. Captain Gay Man. <laughs> Damn. I keep telling you, All right. toxic masculinity <laughs> means you're the beast, <laughs> men. You're like Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> you're trying to control the whole world right. with each other. Put down your women. <laughs> I'm watching this show on female sexuality, right? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, right. What happened in We're there? We're terrible. <laughs> There's so Dudes, many right. you're terrible. India. Every right. single day, women and girls be. China, Russia. Right. The law is to control one human being, the woman, the woman. <laughs> and make her subservient to the being. Because <laughs> there is no law unless you scribe it or write it down. <laughs> See, that's the point, too. And God sends his reign on the just and the unjust. <laughs> See, God's trying to help all and say he's trying to destroy all. See, he hates both sides, right? All of you, all of you. <laughs> so what better way than to pit the male against the female? Right. <laughs> Stupid right. Even if you're gay, though, you got to acknowledge your mama brought you into this world, not your daddy necessarily. <laughs> you know what I mean, man? Right, right. Your daddy might not care if you go gay either, right? <laughs> if he's that kind of daddy, right? And your schoolmates bully you into being gay because they want to fuck you. <laughs> Excuse me, French here, you too, but you know what I mean. <laughs> they don't care who they have sex with. <laughs> men who want men to be gay with them. <laughs> you do realize that, though, right? I, I mean, if you all do it, you don't do it. Like I can say, there's no stopping you, but still. <laughs> they want the mm, you in the butt. <laughs> so they don't have to worry about pregnancy with the woman. <laughs> That's why they're doing it. <laughs> Truth makes you free, brother. <laughs> but if you want to do it, they're going to do it to you, you know? <laughs> they don't care what hole they stick it in. <laughs> if a tree could get wet, they would hump the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God it can't, but... <laughs> but when you eat something, see, has nothing to do with your genitalia, unless you're eating with a different fruit <laughs> of someone else's fruit, of their body, too. Right. Usually the penis goes in one hole. Right, right. The vagina. <laughs> but you go to the bottom hole, too, of the woman, too. 
wonder who was showing boobs. <laughs> that kind of sex. Good in evil sex. <laughs> God in the tree of life, <laughs> or Adam in the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. <laughs> they eat the fruit of the tree of the body of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. It's <laughs> what Moses is saying. <laughs> Read it in me 28. Blessed shall be the fruit of your body, <laughs> or cursed shall be the fruit of your body, <laughs> if you do not follow all that's written in the law. <laughs> And you don't. You pick and choose what you want to believe from it. Right. You don't want to follow all the rules. Right. right. That even applies to Caesar's law to the point, right, I guess, right. I mean, you know, right. If you're in a government state, right, like United States, right, is, you got to play by the rules of your state, too. Right. I keep telling you that, too. That's why the age of consent in Georgia is 16. Right. I keep telling you why, too. Right. You can't do something wrong and not give the girl a 90 or, right, and her say she's 37 and she don't need one. See what I mean? Right. A 37-year-old woman don't have to have a GED to do that job, but a 16-year-old girl does. <laughs> Reason is she's doing that job because she's pregnant and can't finish high school. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Not because the 50-year-old man thought she was 16 at all. <laughs> or 15 at all. <laughs> no one said that to him, right? Mmm. Get stickered on it. The more men lie and try to entrap someone with a girl who don't even need a driver's license <laughs> to say she's 37, right? See, the 37-year-old woman don't even need a driver's license. She graduated college, idiot. <laughs> no, she don't. No, she don't. She can do that job all day and night and not have a problem. <laughs> it's doing someone's nails. <laughs> it's not rocket science. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, the biggest problem with children, though, is they don't want to get them... Around the fun guy of the cheese. <laughs> right. Fungus, <laughs> fungus. And things like that. <laughs> They're children. <laughs> Shouldn't be supposed to that yet. <laughs> 37 more of them don't give a fuck about. You have to go and all that shit. Right. Mm hmm. Like get thicker, huh? Right. See, the difference between a 15 year old girl and a 37 year old woman was one of these deep daddy. Right. She ain't got to have a driver's license. <laughs> She's 37. <laughs> I ain't got to ask her for one. Right. No, I don't. <laughs> but if I ask her her age and she says 37, I don't even need all that shit. Right. <laughs> I ain't got to worry about it. <laughs> if she wants sex with me or not. Right. She can consent. <laughs> with or without ID. <laughs> I ain't even got to ask her for ID if she says she's 37. <laughs> Because she's working in a job, like I told you, where the underage girls... Usually work it because they're pregnant. <laughs> and I'm sure I would ask her a few more questions if we went somewhere else. <laughs> like, you're not pregnant, are you? Or you don't have a boyfriend or husband, do you? Right? <laughs> or you're a seal, right? You're not married or anything. Right, right. <laughs> See, that's all I got to ask her. <laughs> Legally, like the woman at the wheel. <laughs> I'm sure she was 30-something <laughs> to have five husbands and a lover. <laughs> Is that a crime? Christians. <laughs> Did Jesus condemn her though? She went back next year. Remember they were trying to call down fire from heaven? <laughs> Did he judge her? Are you judging us? All oh, the hell is Satan, including yourself and your little sins, right? That you do in private. <laughs> that no one sees, right? Condemning condemns you, Christian. <laughs> Forgiving forgives you, right? <laughs> Anything you think is wrong. <laughs> As wrong as you make it out to be, right? You're adding to the doctrine of Satan by adding to the doctrine of God, which is simple. <laughs> try to do each other right, and if you make a mistake, try to correct it, but also do that in an orderly fashion, too, right? Now, if David said with Bathsheba, how long did it take the child to die? Seven days, seven days. Now, the call Nathan said so. Was it because David tested if the child was his and did the 
dust in the from the tabernacle with the water thing? I don't know. I don't know. See, normally that don't happen in real life. <laughs> But y'all don't die just because you had sex with a woman in the dungeon. You don't does it. No, it. But if David's child did, he did something to make sure that child died. <laughs> whatever it was, whatever it was. <laughs> but that's uh, in your Bible. <laughs> she was punished for the sin right. that she committed with David too. Right. They both murdered her husband, right? Morning when she came, when he came to see her, that she was already pregnant on David's job. <laughs> it's her sin too, by the way. Right. But David's the man who can get the job done to kill you, right? <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. Not Bathsheba. Not Bathsheba. <laughs> Though they're good, right? The greater sin is still David's. Yeah, they were just. But all this is the man you want your Messiah to be like. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's why Jesus didn't work for you, huh? He wasn't like that. <laughs> Damn. Woo, baby. When I tell the truth, I say the truth, baby. <laughs> so, no wonder you rejected him 2,000 years ago. And don't get him now. <laughs> He's not like your David. Right? He wouldn't do that to a woman. <laughs> Even if you list the seven women, Isaiah said he could be with to take away their reproach of my own men, which I think is the one that dwells on the seven, right? <laughs> by the way, by the way. <laughs> Damn. And there are seven candlesticks on the what? Menorah. Menorah. <laughs> you don't get that either. And Jesus is in the middle of the candlesticks, but has breasts like a woman, right? How do you do that if he's man only, right? How do you do that if he's the son of David only, right? But if father or mother, son or daughter, make you to hate him, you're to love him more than them, right? Oh, that's what that means, though, in reality, right? If they make you choose, and they're not supposed to be right? But you mean them or Jesus, you're still supposed to choose Jesus over them both, right? Or your son or daughter, right? He's the male and female as one, right? We're the male and female as two. When we're baptized into him, we also put him on us, and he becomes our other half <laughs> to your female or your male, right? You see what I mean, right? You can't do that with us. We're male or female, right? Though there is a male form in Jesus and a female three in one. They're not telling us this anymore, right? They use the Gnostic Gospels to undo it all, right? Reseal it, basically, right? Is what the Bible means. That's what John means. We're trying to open it and they're trying to reset it, right? The Orthodox people, right? There's Orthodox Jews, Christians, and Muslims. Right? They're all wrong. <laughs> they're all wrong. <laughs> and the biggest problem then is your freaked up idea of religion, right? It's freaked up. Right? It's satanic driven. It's to control your women, not love them and trust them, right? If you don't treat someone like they want to be treated, they're going to go somewhere else anyway. And that's not adultery anymore. That's you pushing her away. Right, right. That's your fault. Right. If your wife don't want to be with you. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> You're doing her wrong. You're toxic to her. She's got to get away from your crazy ass. <laughs> You're so right. Don't you get it? <laughs> We're the beast. Mm. You think the beast is one little ruler in the European Union? Or all the men in the European Union? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> that's the problem, man. <laughs> You're all acting like you want to form the government of the beast. Right. And when you do that, you're going to lose more than you gain. <laughs> you can't wipe out a billion people or two billion people or whatever you would have to do. <laughs> Also, down the population a third. <laughs> I know why you do that too, right? You sickos, right? You know, you gotta do something about the population growth. I'm worried about the neutron bomb technology more than the nuclear stuff, right? Right, Perry? <laughs> what bomb do they talk about <laughs> that can evaporate a person's body where their clothes are left behind? A neutron bomb. A neutron bomb. <laughs> 
Barry. <laughs> Stone. <laughs> goo goo for goo goo puffs. <laughs> that you are. And the women touch his feet first, not Thomas. Barry. You're anti Christ. You're anti female. You're anti God. <laughs> You don't see us both as one in him anymore. You let your fathers corrupt your doctrine. Right? And they sure as hell did. <laughs> they proved who the beast of the two species were. Right? The male. <laughs> the male. We're the beast, Perry. We're the... Nebuchadnezzars. We're the... <laughs> We're not the Hoseas who's trying to love the hoe while she's being a hoe. <laughs> because of the men. <laughs> trying to pimp her out anyway. <laughs> <For real. laughs> See, the men are trying to fuck her for money. Right. So she can get things from them. Right? You know what that means? And you're trying to build a home with her, right? <laughs> and give her a real love. And give her a real love. <laughs> She wants the things in the world like lots of life, huh? right? Right. But why? You're not treating her right either. You know she's wanting the things of the world. Like the prodigal son, though, you don't see the prodigal daughter in the picture either. Or the mother of the son. Right. The two brothers, right? There's got to be a mother in the picture somewhere, Perry, and you don't want to see her, right? It's not the Virgin Mary either, Catholics. <laughs> You're messing with her image too. James and Goosey was the mother of who? <laughs> the sons of who and Joseph? Right. Mary and Joseph. <laughs> oh, there's another Mary. Well, she's Cleopas' wife. Who's Cleopas? Right. There's Mary Magdalene. She might have been Jesus' little side piece. Right. Well, she was. Well, she was. <laughs> Do you think that's a problem for Jesus? Or are you and the disciples? You understand what the Gnostics mean? Or who that will be a problem with? Peter the most! Why do you kiss her often on the mouth? Peter would say. <laughs> well, baby, I love her differently than you, huh? <laughs> That's what Jesus said. <laughs> Maybe I won't be some of her stuff and not your stuff, Peter. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> you know, he has the desire of women, Peter, to you anymore, <laughs> brother? Right. <laughs> You said that he said that all shall be fulfilled in the others. Well, it also talks about wiping out a third of the population one day, right? We're not there yet, by the way. <laughs> I would say what? Another 2016? No. 2060, right? 40 years almost, right? Right. What's that make this the, the last generation, maybe, maybe, <laughs> to either repent of their destruction of the planet by harming their women, right, or love them as if they're the divine female from God they're supposed to be for you, for you, <laughs> right, and you're purely about the male's pleasure, not the female's either, either, right. See, there's things you can do for her differently than for him. You might bite your tongue a little on her feet. <laughs> Instead of just... See, you don't get the clit when you stick it in down there. <laughs> it's on top, right? <laughs> I never asked how they eat if you want me to show you. <laughs> Better eat. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's up to you, though. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm waiting for Mary to cheat up. <laughs> You're waiting for me. I am. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, don't I don't pay for sex on with you, sorry. But I'll show you something. <laughs> Meeting in the ladies' room. Be back real soon. <laughs>